beautiful beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I have the curated bead box in front of us today for the month of September 2020. This is a subscription box that costs $20 a month shipped to your door if you're in the U.S. And if you are, I also have a coupon code, it's OOJ35% that I will also leave down below as well as the link to the subscription and that will save you 35% off your first box, making the first box only $13 shipped which is a really great deal. Now, this is a box I have been recommending for newer beaders, or if you are strictly a bead stringer, maybe you aren't interested in any special shapes in particular, you use mostly rounds. This is one of those boxes that is a good value. It will give you a nice range of colors month after month if you are a subscriber for a duration of time because the themes will change every single month. And I also have a playlist. If you haven't seen past unboxings, you're welcome to watch those and see all the different color schemes they have sent along the way that I've been receiving this box. So this one, as you can see, is called Summer Song. Summer is not over yet, so we're hanging on to that with some brighter pinks and greens and blues, it looks like. On the front of the box, you can see that they have a list of everything that's included, as well as the SKU numbers, which you can use to pop into their sister site, which is dollarbead.com. And that will take you to these items where you are welcome to find more of them in all sorts of different colors. So as you can see at the side of the box, it says some of the items may vary a little bit due to availability. And you're also gonna find a finding starter kit in this box. And that is going to help you get started right away, which is why, again, I say this is a helpful box to get yourself started into the world of beading because you get a finding starter kit along with that and you can get started with some projects right away. So without further ado, let's open up this box and take a closer look at the contents inside. All right, so this is what we see when we open the box. Feels a little bit heavier this month. And I'm seeing a gemstone strain, that's cool. All right, so I'm gonna get organized and then we will take a closer look at each of these items on the list one at a time. All right, to get us started, we are going to start with our largest strands. And here is a lovely shade of bright pink. These are 10 millimeter glass pearls. It's an eight inch long string. They're pretty chunky. And let's get a look at where the holes are drilled so we can take a look at the sides. I'm not seeing anything peeling or flaking off. These are not Swarovski crystal quality, of course, but you're not paying for that. These are perfectly fine quality and perfectly fine to use in jewelry making, something I would absolutely use. Beautiful satiny pink finish. Next up is a combination I really like. These are the 10 millimeter khaki and pink duo style glass beads. They are really gorgeous. They have a floral effect without being outwardly floral. I think just because of the combination of the pinks and the greens inside and how they come together. They're all just a little bit different and have a lot of texture inside and outside. The glass beads are very round and smooth. The overall size is a six inch long string and these definitely coordinate with the other items that we received in this month's box. Next up, we have a very vibrant and shiny metallic strand. You might wanna put on your sunglasses for this one. This is called the eight millimeter drizzled apple green glass bead. It's a 10 and a half inch string. Wow, those are bright. A lot of fun though. And you can see that drizzle that they have kind of subtle etched type of design in that painted finish. And here's a closer look at the edges of these beads. So the quality seems perfectly reasonable and you certainly get a lot to work with on the strand. And then next up we have the eight millimeter rose quartz duo style glass bead. This is another 10 and a half inch string and just like that variegated green and pink one we took a look at, it's got this kind of foiling inside giving this additional texture and overall, you can see the milky pink, again, kind of a bubblegum pink color, smooth round glass beads. And there's a closer look at how the holes are drilled. They're drilled nice and smooth. 
We then have this very interesting strand. This is called Antique Silver Rusted Glass Pearl Bead. They have a lot of texture on the outside and the quality feels really good. They don't feel like they are going to flake off. It feels reasonably thick, the actual coating. Something that is hard to explain, you just kind of go by feel on that. And a very long strand as well, 16 inches of beads on this. And that darker antique silver or deeper gray tone that is a nice neutral contrast with some of these brighter summery or more spring-like colors. We then have another strand of silver style beads. These are the silver jade style beads, a 16 inch string and also an eight millimeter size. So jade style, they're kind of meant to imitate jade beads or the look of that kind of milky glass that does let a little bit of light through, but you can't quite see through them. It's a beautiful medium dove gray tone and a lighter shade of silver, which will balance nicely with the darker shade there. Again, as a neutral, contrast to some of these brighter colors. We then have another long strand. These are six millimeter apple green crackle glass beads. Also 16 inches of these very vibrant spearmint green with those crackles inside, which makes these look a little bit sparkly when you are looking at more from afar. Very smooth and round. There is a look at the holes. They do get a little bit frostier on the edges and some more green to include with our mix. Next up, we have the pink semi-opaque faceted glass bead. This is a 10 and a half inch string and they are in a six millimeter size. Look at the gentle faceting on those. Those are very pretty when the light hits them because the faceting isn't as sharp. It's kind of smooth, gives these almost a little bit of a wet look and just a very light baby pink color, which to me looks more like a rose quartz. All right, and then we have some six millimeter pink faceted glass beads. These are also a 10 and a half inch strand. These are more of a peachy pink color to me. You can see again, they have the faceting on them, not very sharp faceting, just gentle faceting. And they're not as milky as our other pink ones. These are more see-through and just the slightest hint of pink color. All right, and here is our last strand from the box this month. And this says it's a strand of eight to 10 millimeter green jadeite gemstone chips, 10 and a half inch string. I'm really excited to see some gemstone chips or gemstone beads in general in this box for the value. And also it's quite a lot that they send. These are actual stone beads. They have some beautiful rich tones of green from very light minty green to your really dark more forest green and they all vary a little bit in their size and shape which makes them interesting but not too much and i think that really does add to the value of this particular box and it's nice to get something in a more natural material like this that can be incorporated with some of these other strands now along with the strands curated bead box sends a couple additional bags of other items sometimes they're seed beads sometimes they're mixes you just never know, it's kind of a surprise. So we received two other bags, the first one being a bag of 6O size seed beads in the fuchsia Ceylon color. There's one ounce in this bag. It is a gorgeous shade of hot pink. Now these aren't gonna be your very, very standard uniform size Japanese glass seed beads, but they're still perfectly usable. They work well for spacers and all sorts of different projects where you're not depending on the exact uniformity like you would in certain more fussy bead weaving projects. These are a little bit more organically shaped and such a vibrant and pretty color to go with our color scheme here. And in addition to that, we received a bead mix. This one is called the Gorgeous Green Glass Bead Mix. It's approximately one and a half to two ounces of beads in this bag. And I was just thinking how these bead mixes would be really great with the memory wire that they typically include in these boxes, especially if you're newer, because with memory wire, a lot of times you can just incorporate a lot of different types of beads, maybe in a certain color scheme and maybe just put them on randomly, but yet they still look cohesive when put all together. So you can see we have some lamp work beads. These are very beautiful teal and gold and clear 
wavy components. They'd make pretty earrings. Glad there's two of those in there. And then we have a variety of different round glass beads. These opaque with the painted coating. Here's another lampwork style bead, some crackle beads, some faceted glass beads, all different things in that mix. And then finally, like I mentioned before, they also come with a finding starter kit. So inside you're gonna see stringing materials and other items you need to get yourself started with making a project right from the contents of the box. You get a bag of memory wire and it looks like everything is color coordinated this month in tones of silver. So there's that. You also get a bag of memory wire in the silver tone. Also a bag of stretch cord that you can use to make yourself some stretch bracelets. We have some earring components, some fishhook style ear wires, some head pins, and also some other handy basics like your lobster clasps, some jump rings, and some crimp beads. So that is a look at the September 2020 curated bead box. Once again, you can use the coupon code OOJ35% and I will leave that as well as the link to the subscription right down below the video. I wanna thank you guys so much for being with me for this unboxing. I hope it helped you decide if this is the type of box that is right for you and your style and your budget. It certainly is one of the lower cost bead box options out there if it's the right style for you, if you are more of a bead stringer or just starting to get into beading. And it would also make a great box, I think, for somebody who is wanting to get into the hobby. So if you like this video, I would really appreciate a big thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe so you can be aware of when I'm posting new content because I would love to have you. And don't forget to check down below for links to my social media handles so you can follow me there. And also check out my website and blog at orchidandopal.com where I share more of my finished pieces, patterns, and all sorts of jewelry goodness. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And as always, happy beating. Happy beating.